Hello, I'm excited to present our research on comparative analysis of discussion intensity and semantic diversity in early versus late engagers, a study of Japanese tweets about ChatGPT. Our study investigated how early adopters and mainstream users engage differently with ChatGPT, on Japanese Twitter. We developed an innovative methodology to assess both the intensity and breadth of discussions within each group by creating semantic Venn diagrams to compare the diversity of viewpoints. First, we collected over 800,000 Japanese tweets mentioning ChatGPT from November 2022 to February 2023. Inspired by innovation theory, we split users into early engagers who started tweeting before December 31st, and late engagers who joined the conversation later, after crossing the chasm of mainstream adoption. Next, we applied topic modeling with HDB scan clustering to identify 351 distinct discussion themes. We found that while late engagers produced more total tweets, early engagers were more individually engaged with a higher average tweets per person on each topic. Comparing the two groups, we found that early engagers focused more on forward-looking, technical topics like future AI capabilities and integrations. Late engagers, in contrast, concentrate on the current applications and practical implications of AI, including its integration, benefits, and impacts on various fields. This led us to ask, for each topic, which group discussed it more broadly? To answer this, we developed a novel methodology. First, we used linear discriminant analysis to map the early and late user labels to a semantic embedding space. We then projected this to one dimension and applied kernel density estimation. Finally, we calculated the overlap of 95% probability density areas to assess the proportion of shared versus unique perspectives within each topic. We found that on average, late engagers expressed a broader range of viewpoints, 0.8, than early engagers, 0.6, within the same topics. We did find a weak positive correlation between a topic's total tweet volume and its semantic diversity. However, even after controlling for this difference in volume, Late engagers still tended to discuss topics more broadly than early engagers. Our conclusion is as follows. Firstly, we developed a novel methodology to quantitatively assess viewpoint diversity between groups, highlighting that the breadth of discussion isn't merely a function of total activity. Secondly, we demonstrated the importance of analyzing semantic diversity, not just engagement volume, to truly understand the differences in how groups communicate. Finally, our hybrid approach of quantitative topic modeling and qualitative semantic analysis could be widely applicable for studying online discourse dynamics in various contexts. Thank you very much for your attention. I would be happy to discuss any questions.